but I, I, I am very pro-Israel as far as the promise of the Jewish people, 7 million individuals out of 14, having a home. Still going checking out, Charles kept telling a student, I can show you exactly why Israel should exist. There are a lot of reasons why Israel should exist. And guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. If you're new here, then to like, share, subscribe to my channel. We'll see more of Charles Kirk. Guys, without any further ado, let's get straight into this. With the events that have happened, so I know like you've vocally supported Israel a lot in the past. Yep. And I'd just like to ask, have your views changed at all since the October 7th events? Yes and no. I mean, have they changed? I want to be very clear. What are my views? I, I, I've been to Israel twice. I love Israel. I love Israel the place. I love Israel. Um, I love Israel as it protects access to biblical archaeology. Um, I'm not an unapologetic defender of the government of Israel, and I want to make sure that's clear. But I am a defender of the nation state of Israel to exist as, as a homeland for the Jewish people. Um, but I, I, anytime Israel does something I don't like, I say something about it, and I get attacked from every side. I get called a Jewish shill by some people, and then I get attacked as anti-Semitic. For example, I was one of the leading voices that said it was very suspicious, the intel failure that led to October 7th. I, yeah. I was one of the few people that was willing to say that, and I stand by that. Oh yeah, that's great to hear. But but I, I, I am very pro-Israel as far as the promise of the Jewish people, 7 million individuals out of 14, having a home. I, I, I believe that is an idea that needs to be defended, a, a, a Jewish state in the Middle East. I do. But why does it need to be defended by U.S. tax dollars? No, that's, that's a good question. So um, to the amount, it's hard to, it's hard to justify the amount of money recently, the $26 billion. Yeah. But are you a Christian? Whoa. Uh, yes, I am a Christian, but I do not believe in the Schofield Bible. Because okay. I know the Schofield Bible is the Bible that a lot of Christian Zionists cite. So yes, I am a Christian, but I am not a Zionist. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not going to even win you over on Zionism. I do believe uh, that Israel has a place in God's plan, but I'm not even going to win you over on that. But I think I can win you over that we should, as Christians, have access to. Capernaum, Nazareth, the Mount of the Beatitudes, and what happens when we don't, for example, in Bethlehem, it is harder and harder for Christians to access those holy sites. So my main contention is that the veracity of the scriptures is proven true by our ability to navigate the Holy Land. But is that harder based on the Palestinian government yes. or the Israeli government the, having this very tight controls on who visits the West Bank and the Gaza this Strip? This particular example in Bethlehem, the birthplace of our Lord and Savior, uh, is controlled by the PA. And Muslims have largely taken over the Bethlehem, and it is very unsafe for Christians to visit Bethlehem. But like Muslims regard Jesus a lot higher than That's Jews right. he do. Is the four, you're right, he is the fourth holiest figure in Islam. Yeah. Um, and in, in traditional uh, Talmudic Judaism, Jesus is not very... Yeah, they, they say a yeah. lot of nasty things it's, about him in the Talmud. But however, I will say though, that in Israel, under its current government, if you and I went right now, I could show you where Jesus rose from the dead. I can show you where Jesus walked on water. I can show you where Jesus preached the Mount of the Beatitudes. I cannot right now safely bring you to the Hall of the Patriarchs in Hebron, the Hall of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah, because that is largely under Palestinian control. There's one sliver controlled by the Israeli government. Hmm. So there's two sides to this. Um, and insofar that we are allowed as Christians access to the holy sites, and then I'm not going to win you on the other one, which is I do believe that Israel has a place in God's final plan, but I'm not going to win you over on that. So. I mean, I just believe that, I mean, like from reading the Bible, when Jesus is referring to Israel, he is referring to people that follow him. Like when, like when you told Paul and the other apostles, you said, go preach to the Gentiles because... Anyone who accepts Christ has a place in God's kingdom. No, you're totally Cause, right. Because we so, had the old, we had the old covenant where, I mean, of course, foreigners could join, but they did make it very hard. Very where, where God said to Abraham that his descendants would bless mankind, and that G blessing Genesis was twelve three. Yes, and that blessing was the savior of mankind. Then the savior of mankind said, "The old laws have been fulfilled. Now there's a new law. Yep. Where follow me." And you are saved. So we're not so, going to agree on this. There's a biblical prophecy that talks about Israel being spread across all the nations and being bound up in normative evangelical theology, which I believe in, 
is we believe that the creation of the state of Israel in the 1940s was a fulfillment of that prophecy. We're not going to agree on that, right? I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Latter-day Saint. No, that's fine. I know. We're not going to yeah. agree on it. But, hey, I will say, though, the LDS, they have an amazing church in Jerusalem. You should visit it sometime. Yeah, the Jerusalem Center. I know. You should yeah. check it out. God bless, man. Thanks for your support. Guys, I honestly believe that Israel should be allowed to have a state. Like, I feel it's the right. But then the, based on the Bible, history, Israel was there. Like, if you know Jesus, you know Israel. Like, it, it was there. So, you're saying Israel just, the, the country or the state formed in 1940. I, I really don't believe it. I believe they were there since the test of time. And this is the truth a lot of people are trying to, like, hide. I don't know why. I don't know why they're hiding it. But I honestly believe that they have been there. And they deserve to be there because, bro, when they came there, they bought lands. They did not just... They did not fight their way in. Like, they bought lands and started building factories, bringing infrastructure. Like, think about it. Like, for example, it was a barren land till Israel came. And they bought land. They tried to make it their home. And they did. And, wow, they came up with the agreement. They shared the state. Now, I really don't understand what the fight is there for because, like, me and you once agreed on something, now you're saying you don't want the agreement anymore. Like, you asked them to leave Gaza and they did just for the pursuit of peace, and now you're still coming back to hunt them. Like, thinking about it, more like Hamas is the villain in this story. Well, guys, tell me to think about this. Just like, just got my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.